What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Crypto Lucian, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Wednesday, June 1st. And guys, today we're going to be talking about the best traits that you can look out for for massive returns on investments through the Trip and Ape Tribe NFT collection. Now, everything that I'm going to show you in this video is just my own personal opinion. Now, there are many different uh, traits out there with the Trip and Ape NFTs. So don't let this be the determining factor of how much your NFT is worth. We're just looking at the most rarest traits out there and maybe what could be possibly your next investment if you tend to accumulate these over the short period of time. Now guys, with that said, be sure to watch this video throughout its entirety. Don't miss a single thing because I want to share with you all sorts of different materials within the Trip and Ape Tribe universe. And also we're going to reach out to the community, share your posts, and see what you guys are saying out there. So guys, before we begin, as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So let, guys, let's get right into it. And the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the video that I posted just yesterday. And guys, you guys have shown so much support over this video and I really appreciate it. I'm just gonna share with you some highlights of the people who have supported this video. And we're gonna start with Fenris. Now Fenris uh, is awesome. He has been totally updating the community almost every single day within the Trip Nate Tribe Discord and Twitter page, but he luckily shared my video and I really appreciate you Fenris for sharing it. It's uh, amazing to see the community show up and support each other as a tribe. And uh, again, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And not only that, we also have Blue Porkskin, who I featured in our video yesterday. He's very bullish on the collection as well. So thank you, uh, Blue Porkskin, for sharing that and giving me props. I love reaching out to the community as well, and I just love connecting with you guys. And also, I wanna give a huge shout out to Layla. Uh, Layla uh, was basically watching my video while she was creating artwork. And if you haven't seen her artwork, definitely check out her Twitter page at Lemon Art. Uh, on Twitter and she develops her own NFTs and it's really cool to see someone creating in that space but thank you Layla for supporting uh, my videos and watching it love that you were uh, watching the video and creating your own artwork but also you know shout out to you for owning your own tribe ape as well uh, you speak louder than words by putting your money into action and also last but not least huge shout out to uh, Sol No Wind now he owns four of these Trip and Ape tribe NFTs and uh, very bullish, he's still accumulating and he was definitely in response to the video as well. So definitely, you know, good to see sets on crack uh, holders also accumulating these Trip and Ape NFTs as well. Now moving forward, something that just happened recently, Fenris just shared this. Now in the recent Coinbase newsletter, this was actually specified in their newsletter. And it was saying that 24.3 million of sales volume was happening around Solana-based NFTs. And a large part of those sales was the popular Trip and Ape Tribe collection. Just this goes to show you that this collection is on the map. It is literally hard to ignore. People cannot ignore the growth of the tribe, the growth of the community behind it, that media outlets are starting to put it out there. And this is great because we remember, Trip and Ape Tribe was actually developed to be built around a community, not by influencers. And what do I mean by that? We don't want influencers influencing the space in the very beginning, because what happens is they get people to ape into these things. And then when things take a dump, we are left holding the bag and we don't want that. So this is why it's a great time to buy at a really low dip. So moving forward, that's really cool. Now, next up, Solana Daily just shared this today. And that was in the whole popular collections and trends, right? In terms of seven days uh, tr uh, trending collections, Trip Nape Tribe is number one in that field above OK Bears, above Gene Con Studios, above D Gods. So that is really amazing to see that Trip Nape Tribe is getting that exposure in that light. And also let's continue talking about the community. Now the community is obviously really engaged. People have changed their picture for profiles or PFP quite a bit in this world, in the Twitter space, in the Discord space. But when we have live chats, everybody shows up. It's like a complete raid of tribe apes, which I love. And also this guy, oh my gosh, I mean, this is amazing. Talk about dedication. This person had a tattoo of a trip new tribe. Uh, I think this is on his ankle. Yeah, I mean, that's just huge. Someone who really believes in the project, 
believes in the future, but is also a big fan of the artwork. That's something that you have to take into account is that it's not just the community, it's the artwork itself. And also last but not least, let's talk about some highlights. And this is from NFT Hunter Gems. And this is just a great overlook, right? The, the, we've seen a 10X over the mint. We've already gotten our airdrop. We're gonna be staking our eight for tribe, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit. We have an epic NYC event that's gonna be happening, I think in the end of June. And also whenever we have a Ask Me Anything or AMAs with the team, it's consistent, it's constant. It's almost like every single week or every single three days. Either they're talking on Discord or speaking in an appearance on some other news channel in the crypto world or NFT world. Uh, also, you know, within the Discord, there is also amazing community, amazing communication, amazing support. I've seen some people feel like they're really scared, not knowing how to live in this space, but the tribe members help emotionally like with these people and they help us in a way kind of make it help us go through these bear markets and say, we're going to make this and do this together. You're not alone. And so also they donated $10,000 to maps, which is basically uh, a research facility that allows for uh, natural uh, medicines uh, like say marijuana to help people in need if it's depression if it's anxiety if it's stress maybe even something more severe well they donated 10,000 of the profits to that uh, nonprofit organization that's so that's really amazing and last but not least the mystery is still alive because they are holding back hundred percent and that is so true they haven't told us everything yet and this is why it's good they didn't share a roadmap initially because we would have expectations they have to be flexible as the market moves up and down we have this guy who uh definitely shared a really great tip he says i don't think many people realize that trip and nfts didn't re even receive the funds from the minting yet and they have already delivered the first airdrop to holders that's the spore airdrop that we talked about in our last video now all these other hype projects are going under mint when they got millions in their pocket you fud which is fear uncertainty and doubt and we trip now the reason this sentence is really important is because there, it is true we have actually seen a lot of mints happening within the past week and unfortunately like say for instance there are some mints out there i'm not gonna name the projects but some mints out there were like three uh, three solanas in mints which is around a couple hundred dollars and when the secondary market went live to list those nfts they were actually listed underneath the mint price which is not supposed to happen um, so Trippany Tribe is still actually way above their mint price, which is 3.25 and the floor price is around uh, 24 Solana at the time of this recording. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but that just goes to show you how great this community is. It's all about community. Now this one I want to share, which was from this D-Gods member. He says, no chance to mint. He got in high. He's still bullish after the uh, voice chat on Discord. And he also says, Lesurgic is rich and successful, meaning he works for the community, not money. Now, he has good engagement, he has confidence, and just like D-Gods, community takes time to mature. And what do we mean by that? Well, let's look at D-Gods real quick. Now, D-Gods is one of the most successful collections on the Solana NFT uh, blockchain. Now, just like Trippany Tribe, we have a 10K supply. With unique holders for D-Gods, there's only 4,200. But why is the floor price at 358 Solana? Well, maybe it's because there's only 51 listed. And that's also because they are staking their D gods to earn dust tokens. And so the more you stake, the more supply is being ripped off the secondary market. But over time, more of those NFTs dwindle. And that means the price kind of goes up and up and up. And eventually you take out all the paper hands and you only have diamond handers. So this is what happens. The reward is their floor price is extremely high. This is exactly what Trip and Ape Tribe is doing. And D-Gods, why they're buying all these Trip and Ape Tribes is because of this. They know that based on their strategy, it's going to happen with Trip and Ape Tribe. So let's talk about utility, right? Because we want to talk about staking, right? This is another part of the video that I want to share with you guys. Is that staking could be coming very soon. And Trip and Ape Tribe did share uh, a couple days ago about their utility. Now, tribe members will soon be able to stake for a tribe. A utility token powering the ape uh, economy and journey to ascension. Now, just like the tribe token is similar to the dust token to D gods, we're going to be incentivized to earn these tribe tokens and we'll be earning money while holding these NFTs. Now, it's up to us if we want to use these tribe tokens to take profit, but that's not what I'm going to do because honestly, you want to use those tribe tokens to help you ascend your NFT. 
your original OG NFT, the NFTs that are listed right now. So you have your Trip and Ape Tribe NFT, you'll have your airdrop, your spore, or your, they also call it a, a Choral's uh, Sacrament. Uh, and you use these combinations to create possibly another NFT, right? Another derivative, another uh, second edition of this. It's not really a derivative, but more of a, an official second edition of that. Now, even in this next paragraph, it kind of supports my statement. Along with this SPL token, an expanding collection of utility NFTs known as Charles Sacraments will be critical to each ape's progression. So that just goes to show you that I think we're heading in that direction. Now, next up, this is something that was just announced by Plud17. He said staking this week. The reason he said that is because he took a screenshot of someone saying, did I read a mod or a moderator saying staking will go live this week? Lesergic, one of the founders says, yep, that's the idea. So that's May 31st, that was yesterday. Today's June 1st. So that means could it happen by the end of the week? Possibly. But if they were starting the staking period at this time, that's amazing to have an airdrop, to have staking within the first two weeks of an NFT launch is shocking to me and that's huge it's very huge it just goes to show you how much this team behind the scenes is working for us now with this guy kareem i want to share with you his perspective that he thinks that the floor price of trepanate tribe will hit 200 floor price by september 1st 2022 now that's not too hard to believe actually i think we can hit up to 420 which is kind of the symbol the floor price symbol for this uh, hallucinogenic uh, kind of crazy trippy ape, right? And we all know where 420 refers to. So that's where I think we can go. But logistically, 100 people think is the first floor to hit, but that's gonna be easy in my eyes. 200 is more of a realistic floor price in my opinion. And you do need to keep in mind that right now is actually a really good time to buy one of these Trip and Ape NFTs for anything underneath 30 sold. And if you can't buy it under 30 sold, then as this guy said, you don't really deserve it if it's at 100 soul, you have to be able to buy the fear, just like in cryptocurrency, buy the dip. And so if you really believe in the project and you believe in the team, you believe in the utility, you believe in the roadmap, then you should be able to invest in something knowing that there's upside at the end. And that's why we think 100 to 200 soul floor is definitely going to be the price in the short to immediate term. Now, let's go ahead and talk about trades because that's the point of this video and for you to stick around trades are very important you must be wondering what traits really stand out now what we're going to be doing in this video is just showing you each trait we're not going to be showing you a combination of traits we want to show you each trait because right now a lot of people are buying uh cheaper versions of the trip and eight nfts between 20 to 30. But what if you want to make a 50 uh 40 solana investment and just to have one trait that can give you a strong return on investment. Well, this is what we're gonna talk about. Now, if you haven't been to this website, this website is called moonrank.app. Now, moonrank.app is the top ranking systems for Solana NFTs. I don't preferably use howrare.is or soulbotrank on Discord. I use moonrank.app. It's one of the most promising ratings out there. So with that said, let's go ahead and begin with the first uh, trait and that is background now i would use blotter background but the thing is this is one of the most sought after items it's too expensive for these entry prices there's nothing around 50 solana so what i will do is let's look at mandala which has actually a least supply it has 58 out of 99 so in fact this is actually more rare in terms of its trait so if we go to magic eden to look at those traits guess what you can find one for 40 you can find one for 45 solana 52 now, if I were looking at the cheapest price right here, I'd be looking at this one right here. Why? Because this is moon rank. This is 533 out of 10,000. That just goes to show you how rare that is. But again, this is going to show you why I prefer moon rank over how rare dot is because how rare dot is is completely off in terms of its ranking compared to moon rank. So moon rank gives you the actual real authenticity and rarity of it. So again, this is just the blotter background or mandala background. So I would go for this one. All right, let's go to the next trait. So let's look at body. So which body do we want to look at? Well, I would choose OJ, but the thing is OJ is actually extremely expensive. This is one of the most sought after items. A huge thing that the founder is also a big bull on. So we're not going to look at that because it's too expensive. 
But we, what we are going to look at is Shroomin, which is the second most rare item compared to all these other ones, which are in the 700s, 1000s. This one, Shroomin, only has uh, 111, right? So let's go and look at that very quick. You'll see that there are different prices from 53, 55, 64, 68. So obviously this is a little bit more pricier. This is kind of out of your range. Now out of this whole collection, what I would do in the first ranking, again, we're looking for the cheapest one for the best rarest trait is this one right here, 55 Solana for 777 out of 10,000. See how that works? Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, so instead of body, we're gonna look at eyes. This is my favorite category. Now we do know orange slices are a big deal, but the thing is, I don't think that these designs of orange slices are going to be a big hit to me. Right now, I'm a big fan of HUD and I'm a big fan of laser eyes. You've seen a video about HUD, but guess what? We're gonna be talking about laser eyes. So with laser eyes, check it out. The lowest cost is around 55 Solana, but guess what? This guy right here, say for instance, 749 out of 10,000. Look at this one, 88 Solana, 909. So right now I'm looking at this puppy right here for a good steal. Laser eyes are gonna be the one of the most sought after assets in the Trip and Ape NFT collection because lasers, just like in Bored Apes, are a huge sought after collection. So if I were somebody, I would be buying this. That's just my own personal opinion. Next up, we're gonna be talking about faces. Now this right here is the X-ray shell. This is something that I think is the most sought after one. And again, it has the least of these in supply. So what does that look like? Well, this is the design. And right now you can actually find one for the cheapest price around 43 Solana, all the way up to 59. So if I were buying something in here, maybe I would buy this one for 49 Solana because it's 1,000 out of 10,000. So obviously this one's really attractive, but again, make sure that the designs really match with you, right? You wanna make sure that the designs and the artwork resonates with you because you wanna connect with the artwork, not just the rarity itself. Now for hats, we would use ceremonial hoods, but the thing is they're all sold out. All 10 of them are gone. People have bought these because they're so rare, but what's the second rarest to that? We're gonna look at crowns, right? Crowns are the best option, I believe. Now crowns, the cheapest one is around 40 Solana, all the way up to 49. Again, the cheapest version. Right now I'd be looking at this one for 49 at a ranking of 1100. That's amazing out of 10,000, plus the crown is amazing, the artwork is amazing, but it's up to you to decide what you wanna invest in because there's all sorts of deals. Like this one's 99. Solanas for a ranking of 382. I mean, that's a huge jump compared to these. So again, I want to make sure you guys have a better return on investment for that. And last but not least, we're going to be talking about the outfit. Now, I would say, let's look at the ceremonial hood, but the thing is that's going to be a little too rare. Again, all these are sold out. So what's the second rarest? Well, that is the white rabbit and that is that outfit. So let's go ahead and look at that. So the white rabbit right now is the lowest cost is around 55 Solana all the way to 65, say for instance. So if I were looking to dollar cost average, if I were looking to invest in something, I would be buying this one for 65 Solana at a ranking of 930. That's a great steal, because the price just keeps jumping way above that. And right now, it doesn't seem to be getting any cheaper. And this is why you need to invest in these things early on at these dips, because this is your only opportunity, because the return on investment could be that these floor prices for these are gonna go up way higher. So guys, that wraps up the trait review, I just want to give you a little bit of a closure here. I want to end it on a statement. And that is when you're looking for these best traits in these different categories, you need to focus on one thing. How many of these traits are on the floor right now? Because there are 10 or less, that means you getting at a cheap price is good. Because if there are less of those traits around, that means that technically those traits are like a community. And if that community of traits work together to change their floor price to whatever number it is, it's gonna be amazing ROI for you guys. So in the end, what is my favorite trait out of all of these? Well, I have one and one only, and that is the laser eyes. I'm more bullish on the laser eyes. I think there are great entry points here for everybody, and there's a very limited supply. There's like less than 20 of these. And I do have a different, um, trait, which is the HUD, which is a different eyewear, but the laser eyes is something that I want to add to my collection. The question is though, that I laid down for you guys is, is the laser eye trait something that I should get? And this is my recent post on Twitter, which you can click on the link below. I need your vote guys. I need the first 200 likes on this post. And right now we're at 191, only need nine more. And if I get nine more of these likes, then I will buy one of these laser eye 
NFTs of the Trippin' Ape tribe. So guys, that about wraps it up for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this has been a long overlook of what's going on in the Trippin' Ape tribe universe, but there is just so much going on with this collection that is just hard to ignore. So guys, let me know down in the comments what traits you feel are the most massive in terms of the return on investment. Personally, what traits are you uh, a big fan of? Because again, we haven't addressed all the traits. We only talked about rarities, right? But personally, people have different favorites out there and I wanna cover those favorites with you guys. If you guys have any Twitter posts, I wanna share those tweets on our channel. I wanna share it in our next video. So guys, as always, if you like what you've seen, like what you've heard, be sure to smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.